Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Country Cuss Sunday Report. Glad everybody's here, and hope everybody's feeling well. We're gonna be playing around today with a little bit of bluesy. Still music. I'm tuned up. I'm gonna put it across there. People are always asking what you tuning. Open E today. Sometimes I do an open uh, D, and I have done C six and open G. But I love open E because it follows the same frets as the ones on my guitar, which is what I first playing with anyway was guitar but anyway we gonna start off y'all can follow along we're gonna use these first three strings and you're gonna come up here to and we're gonna call this one two three four five six string so we're gonna come up here to the fifth string and hit it open then we're gonna close it at the third fret and then we're gonna plug the uh, fourth string. Sounds like that. Close the third fret, then on that fourth string. So we go. Then back. Alright, and then we're gonna do a slide down. We slid all the way to the fifth fret, which is gives you that sound if you wanted to do the rhythm part. See how easy it is. Six string. Hit it on the third fret and just slide. Go up to the fifth fret, which is a B, I mean an A. I like to give it a back rake on that B so it goes. A D. Then you're gonna slide down to an A at the fifth rate.
first and the second string. See how my 
last banger when I'm doing it. <laughs> Bangers always on that string. If it wasn't, it'd sound like this. See yeah, how bad that sounds? Alright, now listen at it with the finger on. short clip of a little wild critter that come up on the, I was sitting on my shop porch. We had just had a good rain, and funny thing is, and I started the video, I, we always have wind here. Never seen the wind like it was after this rainstorm moved through. It was so still, the, the wheat grass that grows, the lightest wind will move it. And it was straight up, no wind. You couldn't even feel the air outside hardly. And even the cats was out there in the field staring at the grass or whatever. I don't think they've ever seen it that still because I hadn't. Clouds was all around us. It was like we was in a big old hole with clouds on the outside. But now there was a big old storm went through. We had a gully washer of a rain. We had a lot of wind, got a lot of limbs down in the yard. Not big ones, but some of them about like that that snapped off the pecan trees. But anyway, uh, and it blowed my flag over. My bicycle that's in front of my flagpole, it fell over. So I had to pick it up and dust off the flag, but it survived just like it always has for hundreds and hundreds of years. So uh, let's keep our flags flying, people. Anyway, y'all have a great week out there, and uh, I know I've been cleaning out my shop, getting ready to start back building. I'm thinking to build uh, guitar number 200. It's going to be a right-handed, and I hadn't decided on what kind of uh, stain, but I kind of like that. Last one I did, that left-handed with the Conan wood or Conan or whatever you call it, Kona. Anyway, I'm going to probably copy it and do the whole guitar in it. We'll see. Anyway, y'all stay tuned for another lesson of lap steel guitar. And uh, if y'all need to know something special about it, let me know. Uh, I had a gentleman ask me about a Royal Blue lap steel short, and I don't quite understand what he's talking about unless he's talking about this guitar. Now, if you're talking about this one, let me know. If you're not, I do have another left-handed blue one on it that it's just as long as the one I got. Oh, he was wanting a shorter one. The only way I can make my lap still shorter is, is chop it off like this one here. Boom. Right here at the saddle. I can do that. Anyway, by golly, because uh, the head stop's going to be the head stop. And uh, the scale's 20 one inches on this one, 21 on that other left-handed. It do got a little more of a back end and it's got a fancy cutout right there. This is just plain old square. And I kind of like the squareness because I can lay it him up against my amp and it won't fall. It don't fall over. Alright? Anyway, with that being said, I hope each and every one of y'all has a great week out there and Y'all be safe, and thank God for the rain. We've had a lot of good rain this week. All my 
squash is starting to produce, the corn's looking good, so uh, even got pepper plants now that's volunteered and come up. So we're doing good right here in the middle of summer. Let's just see how long it holds out with a good rainy spell. Y'all come see me and y'all take care. Hey, boy. Hey, what are you doing over there?